it's a well-known fact that Filipinos, much like the rest of the world, are in love with the SUV format. But aside from the SUVs, the multi-purpose vehicle or MPVs are also popular in the Philippines because, well, we like to move in groups. Hyundai, as you may have known, is back. Now, of course, we all know the Staria, the next generation of the Starix, which is a very popular um, model. However, having said that, the Staria starts at 1.85 million, probably a little steep for people who are looking to buy uh, lower that price point. Now, for that very reason, Hyundai Philippines has brought in the Stargazer. So we're going to take a look at the Stargazer today. This is Cap Maceda Aguila. Welcome to Uncapped. Okay, to talk to us in greater detail about the Hyundai Stargazer, we have with us Assistant Section Manager for PR, Ms. Carissa Castell. Uh, thank you for having us, Carissa. Thanks, and uh, yes, please uh, let us know what there is to know about <laughs> the Hyundai Stargazer. Everyone has been waiting for this. Uh, it looks like a smaller brother of the Staria. Yes, actually, they refer. Some people even refer to it as the baby Staria. Um, but with the new uh, Stargazer, Hyundai Motor really intends to set a new benchmark in the segment. So as you can see, it looks nothing like your conventional MPV. Uh, this was intentional, the future-oriented styling, because we wanted to communicate the brand's pioneering spirit. So right. if you can see, this line that cuts across is actually the LED, daytime running lights and positioning headlamps. And then mm. even the headlights is uniquely designed. Okay, the headlights are also um, LEDs? Yes. And then you have your halogen fog lamps fog underneath? Lamps, correct. All right. Okay. Now, um, something else about the, the Stargazer. I heard about it's one curve design. Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? So on the side, it's more visible. But the one curve design is not just for aesthetics, uh, but it also helps with better aerodynamics. Um, the flow of the car is really something that was uh, prioritized by the designers of the Stargazer. Okay, now what are, uh, you mentioned the side, let's go to the side of the vehicle. So Carissa, what are the key elements or key highlights that you want to show our viewers? Actually, it sports a 16-inch dual-tone wheels. Then um, it also comes with power folding mirrors already and turn signals here. Oh, there's a turn lamp here. Okay. Yes. Um, and then it also has a smart door um, because uh, once you have the key outside, you can already open it. There's access here okay. in the chrome handles. Okay. And this chrome treatment is only for the GLS Premium, right? Yes, that's All right. All right. Okay. Now, Carissa, you also mentioned earlier that the overhangs have been shortened. Yes. That's so right. that actually, I know that, that that also aids in handling, right? If I'm it right? It does. And as well as, although it has shorter overhangs, it has the largest in-class wheelbase because our priority for the Stargazer is driver comfort. So. Um, whether you also have you are having passengers on board or loading cargo, then you can assure that it's a very spacious MPV. There you go. Now, since you mentioned also longer wheelbase, I know for a fact that when you talk about a longer wheelbase, then that translates into um, passenger space, right? Yes. Am I right? So in terms of headroom, legroom, shoulder room, it's much more comfortable whether you're um, in the second or the third row. Now, uh, I also note notice these like sharp creases here that. Um, aids in the dynamic look of the vehicle. Yes, so and, complementing uh, the um, one curve design or the one curve design. Cur character line. Now we move on to the back of the Stargazer. Now Carissa, this really looks, again, like, like, the, like the front. It mm -hmm. looks unique. Uh, can you tell us something about this uh, rear of the Stargazer? Very, uh, it's distinct, equally distinct as the front, like you said. So it sports an H-shaped uh, tail lights. Uh, this line actually that is cutting across the back as well, um, it's full LED. Oh, this one here? Yes. Okay. And then you have your high mount um, brake lamp? Brake lamps, correct. Okay. And I see that, uh, I, know, I know that there are like, there, there's a trend that moves away from, from chrome. And I think the Stargazer is embracing, sort of embracing um, chrome. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the chrome logo here. And then, of course, the, the Stargazer yes. uh, name uh, behind which is uh, black um, feature right here. 
So yeah, it all looks very futuristic. Maybe that's it is. Is that the correct way to describe the? the that's Stargazer what we went Carissa? for. Yes. Oh, so they, they were going for futuristic. Now we're aboard the Stargazer. Please um, talk to us, like again, the key points that uh, people need to know about the new uh, Hyundai Stargazer. The Stargazer also has the host of smart features, starting with the LCD cluster behind the steering wheel. It has intuitive graphics. If you can see, um, whenever you change the drive mode, it syncs to it, similar to the, the changing colors for wow. drive mode. It's also synced with the infotainment system right here, which is actually Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. Okay. Then I know um, that this is eight inches as well. This is the largest right. for uh, for the line because mm -hmm. this one is again. It's the GLS Premium, so this has the 8-inch, eight, eight uh, and it's a touchscreen, you said? Yes, it okay. is. So, connectivity-wise, um, we know that it's very important as well for our Filipino families. Therefore, we made sure that there are a total of six charging ports all throughout. Wow! Including the wireless one, which is here under the main AC control panel, uh, here in the main console. Okay. Then, aside from that, the Stargazer also leads in terms of safety. It is equipped with Hyundai SmartSense, which is our advanced driver assistance system. So the features that are commonly akin to larger SUVs, um, such as forward collision avoidance or rear cross-traffic alert, mm -hmm. um, is already equipped here in the Stargazer. Okay, now you also mentioned earlier, and I want the people to know that um, across the line, you have that suite, right? It's just that in the highest ver the variant, the the GLS Premium, you have more of those features, but yes. uh, that suite, as you said, uh, is available in all yes. the Stargazer uh, models. And what comes as stock, even for the um, starting variant, is the six airbags and oh. a tire pressure monitoring system. I see, okay. And But this one, again, the mm -hmm. more premium version, this has an air curtain, right? Yes, airbag. Okay, curtains. so added uh, safety features for the top variant. Uh, what do you have here? What's this one? Actually, um, that's a hidden tray compartment. A fun fact, uh, the Stargazer has 31 <laughs> thoughtfully placed wow. uh, storage spaces, uh, including this one, okay. like what you pointed out, as well as a seat back table and a bag hook in the headrest. Then the rest, I'll leave you looking for them. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, so that's very convenient and thoughtful. So yes. that now I'm looking. <laughs> I'll look all look for yeah, them I'm going to try to look for all of these little um, cubbies and crannies and nooks that you have. Okay, now that's very thoughtful. And I think it's very thoughtful also to have that charging pad. And I think that's something um, more for SUVs, right? But, yes. but the Stargazer has it. So yeah, it has advanced features. So probably as a, a way to tie everything together, Carissa, um, we, you said the, you said the word futuristic, and I think that best encapsulates what the exterior of the Staria is about. So, if I will ask for your take on what ties together everything in the interior, what, what do you think that is? Um, it could be comfort, uh, not just because of how the configurable seats are, and again, we have uh, largest in class in terms of wheelbase, so. Uh, driver and passenger comfort, but as well as the small um, touches all throughout the interior, such as the charging ports mm -hmm. and the surplus of storage spaces, yes, um, makes it a more enjoyable and, of course, convenient for both the driver and the passenger. Okay. So uh, once again, I think this will be a very um, compelling challenger, mm -hmm. as they say. Here comes a new challenger. It is, right? and especially for. Um, modern, younger Filipino families who really want to stand out and want a head turner than the stargazers for them. Alright, now again as we're doing this we don't know yet the official price of the vehicle but I will point my finger like this and the price should be appearing here if we get the, the price from Carissa. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the pricing for the Hyundai Stargazer. All right. So there you have it. Uh, thank you once again, Carissa Castell, Assistant Manager for PR of Hyundai Motor Philippines. Okay, we're here with the Deputy General Manager for Marketing of Hyundai Motor Philippines, Mr. Mark Parulan. And we're going to talk to him about everything we need to know about, not just about the Stargazer, but what he can reveal to us about what Hyundai Motor Philippines will be up to in the next couple of months and the years ahead. 
So Mark, first of all, thank you very much for inviting us. A uh, very nice location and a very beautiful looking uh, vehicle that you have here. Thank you, sir. Cap, pleasure to be here. All right. Now, first off, of course, is um, please walk us through the, the decision of uh, Hyundai Motor Philippines to bring in the, the Hyundai Stargazer. Okay, sir. So basically, Hyundai Motor acknowledges that the MPV segment is a very emerging uh, segment uh, in the automotive industry and we do realize that the Filipino or modern Filipino family is really looking for a seven-seater uh, compact MPV and it's, we believe that it's the perfect time to bring in the Stargazer. Okay, now um, first off, uh, everyone, I'm, I'm sure everyone will, will um, see how it looks like its bigger brother, the, the Staria, which you guys have already launched in, in, in the past. Now, um, can you tell us though about uh, like the key features that will that you hope to make um, that will you know resonate in uh, in the market? What are the key value propositions, if you will, uh, of the of the Stargazer? As you said, yes, it's it's an emerging market, but it's also a highly competitive one. Uh, with you have a uh, you have several very strong. Um, Compet competitors in the segment. Yeah. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, good that you noted that, sir. Um, a lot of people have been calling this the baby star. Yeah, Be most, most especially that the design elements is very futuristic, similar to, let's say, what, let's just call it its big brother. Uh, the Stargazer actually carries a lot of features that is important to most modern Filipinos. One, apart from the design, uh, the space is something very essential to them. So we have a seven-seater car that has a uh, flexible seating co uh, seating configurations that will allow not just a people not just to be a people carrier, but also it allows you to carry different loads or cargo. And apart from that, we. In, uh, the designers incorporated a lot of safety, uh, safety, advanced safety systems that uh, will keep you worry-free and safe in, throughout your drive. Uh, these days, people are always asking about supply, right? Mm -hmm. Because, of course, as you know, uh, there are um, shortages in terms of uh, chip shortage. Then you have supply uh, chain issues and stuff like that. Um, how's the supply outlook for for the Stargazer? Uh, starting November 8th, uh, in its official launch, we are confident that we'll be able to accommodate the requirements of the market. Okay, and then, because you said that uh, you'll be comfortable to accommodate the requirements of the market, what's the projection like for, for Hyundai Motor Philippines? What's the, what's the magic number, if you, <laughs> if you call it that? Like, how many stargazers are you expecting to fly out of your showrooms? Okay, sir, as a, as a new player, of course, the numbers will be still modest compared to the number one and number two brands. What's modest? <laughs> like, like, you know, between us and them. <laughs> okay, sir. Um, right now, we're targeting for the first month at least, we're targeting around 500 units. And moving forward, as the demand grows, we'll make sure that we'll be able to accommodate those. All right. Now, um, so 500, that's actually a very generous figure. Uh, what are the, what are, let's talk about Hyundai Motor Philippines in general. What are the, the key models? Well, of course, with that number, this will be one of your more important uh, models, I'm sure. But what are the what are the uh, numbers like for Hyundai Motor Philippines? What's driving your sales at the moment? Uh, right now, we do have the Hyundai Creta, a subcompact uh, SUV. We also have the Tucson, uh, the Palisade, the Staria, and of course the Santa Fe. Sir. Uh, you guys are back, essentially back. Well, after let's say a bit of a hiatus. Okay. Um, what can what can Filipinos expect from from Hyundai? during this resurgence and i know you guys have just relaunched a number of your key models and of course this is a strong statement right here the stargazer what what else can filipinos expect from you guys okay sir apart from bringing in new models for the needs of the market we are also here to establish the vision of hyundai motors this is progress in humanity so the founders of hyundai always believe in enhancing uh, not just the ownership experience but life itself so Hyundai, in general, is already bringing in different technologies that will enhance life in general. So our mission here is not just to bring in cars or improve after sales, but to be present in everything that is important to the Filipino market, sir. Hyundai made an announcement about its uh, software-defined architecture. Yes. Did I say that right? Now, uh, one of the key things that uh, I took away from that is that basically you guys now have the ability to um, update 
the software of the vehicle over the air or you know do it wirelessly or however you want to call it uh, will the stargazer be among those models that uh, will have that capability uh, and with regard to the other models too what, what uh, where 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 are we here in the, in the in like in the philippine market unfortunately sir the vehicles that will be included in that up upgrade would be those coming in 2023 of course i'm confident that our engineers are looking into how to uh, share that technology with the existing products but uh, what what's good is that looking looking into the future uh, Hyundai is very much uh, aware on how to address certain um, problems that are within uh, the upgrades required uh, wherein you have to bring it to the service center and also mentioned in that uh, seminar sir is that or conference is that there will also be some platform sharing to make it uh, to make it more cost efficient for everyone sir all right now as far as the philippines goes though um what can we expect from uh hyundai again like are you done uh, for your launches for this year at least and then are you looking at opening more dealerships perhaps? Uh, dealerships are all uh, are something that we're also improving on. We want to be accessible to our customers and then uh, as mentioned sir we're really focused on progress in humanity so our programs are really go geared towards a customer oriented um, operation so our customers can expect that we'll be bringing in programs not just car related but also regarding the benefits of our customers here. Okay, now everyone knows, if you're um, familiar about the automotive history, you know, in the Philippines at least, you know that Hyundai is one of the, one of the stronger brands in, in the past. Uh, what is the ultimate goal for Hyundai Motor Philippines, Mark? Are you looking at number one? Are you looking to crack number five? And if yes, when, what's, the, what's the timeline like for you guys? Sir, I'm putting you on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say is the global direction that our global message is geared towards our customers. So we're not very conscious about the numbers. Again, it's all about our customers. So our focus is more on how to enhance that experience, the ownership experience, and how we can make the brand more relevant to them. So we believe once we are able to address this, uh, everything will follow. The numbers will follow as well. All right, well said. Now, uh, again, thank you, Mark Parulan. He's uh, the Deputy General Manager for Marketing of Hyundai Motor Philippines. Now, if guys, uh, can you invite them? Like what? Like uh, how many dealerships do you have right now? Uh, currently, sir, we have 39 deal dealerships nationwide. So we'd like to invite everyone to visit your nearest dealership and inquire about not just the Stargazer but uh, the other products as well. Okay. Pre-booking for the Stargazer starts on October 19, and then we will be officially launching the vehicle November 8. Okay, so pre-booking that means reservations. People yes, can sir. place their reservations already yes, at sir. any. Hyundai Motor Philippines yes. uh, dealership, is yes. that right? Yes sir, and if they'd like to know more, they can visit our website www.hyundai.com slash ph Alright, again, thank you very much Mark and uh, we're looking forward, I certainly am looking forward to a very attractively priced Stargazer yes. that should match its look <laughs> now, uh, because I think it has, it, it has a winning formula, I mean uh, so once again, thank you Mark and that's it for me, this is Cap Masada Aguila Thank you for watching Uncapped.